Why, hello there, my fellow agents. Welcome back to Mid-Crisis New York City. We're talking about the new locations you may not know about in the division. The first DLC, The Underground, gets a rumored release date. Creative director Magnus Jensen talks about zombies in the division. Vice makes a documentary in collab with the division about viruses and deadly disease. And finally, we've got news of a rumored companion app. Hey guys, what's up? It's Robbie with Opal Games, and let's begin. So about those new locations we got to see, one of them in the new Factions trailer. If you didn't get to see that trailer, by the way, you can find it in the description below. But if you didn't know, what you see here is the United Nations building in New York City. This is the heart of all international relations and can indicate that the last battalion is a collaborative worldwide effort to secure New York City. Perhaps new interests overseas are also trying to finally get their influence prominently stated in the United States by assisting in the effort to stabilize the city. That would make for an awesome storyline. And if you didn't know, of course, The Last Battalion is a new faction recently revealed for The Division, and it seems like they're going to be one of the most powerful enemies in the game. Next up, the first DLC called The Underground is now rumored to be coming out around July 27th, as indicated by a Reddit user who received an email from Uplay stating as such. The email was from Uplay Brazil, however, so the date may change in the future. And again, take this as a rumor for now. However, we will be receiving free DLC content weeks after the release of The Division, which has been confirmed uh, by the creative director on The Division. And, uh, you know, mentioning the creative director... In an interview with YouTuber EPN.TV, Magnus Jensen spoke about zombies in The Division of all things. He goes on to say, anybody can do a zombie game. And the incredible thing about this setting is that, you know, we have a lot of things that you'd have in a zombie apocalypse. But with it being plausible, you know, a clear and present danger could strike. I think it makes it even more enticing. Yeah, you know, I think we've had enough zombies for one lifetime, to be honest with you. But, would you all like to see the infected in the division in place of zombies, perhaps? Maybe they will do something like that eventually in the franchise. Honestly, that is sort of realistic territory, and they're already sort of straddling the line there. As you can see, you know, people roaming around, kind of helpless. They're sort of zombified, if you get what I mean, but they don't attack you. But let me know if you guys would like to see something more zombie-like in the division. Post in the comments below. But for now, I'm really thrilled with the direction they have taken with the division. I'm so glad they did not decide to go with zombies. But, you know, The Walking Dead is something I still love to watch. And a new Vice documentary in collaboration with Ubisoft and the division talks about real-life viruses and how in the next 50 years it is likely we will see a true pandemic. Scary stuff. You know, the division is actually very realistic in many ways. Tom Clancy predicted a lot of things when he wrote his books, uh, many things that actually did happen uh, with 9-11. You know, he was the one that did theorize that terrorists would be able to use planes to attack uh, the United States, and that, of course, came to be. So it's pretty freaky that... Uh, Tom Clancy's name is on this because it is very realistic, actually. But you can find the Vice documentary about viruses in real life and a true pandemic by following the link in the description below. And yep, there's rumors we'll be getting a companion app for The Division, which will keep track of all of our weapons, gear, and in-game statistics right on our phone. You can find the link to that rumor below, but yeah, this is still a rumor and has yet to be confirmed by Ubisoft. But you know, I'd expect some sort of app to keep track of all of your stuff on your phone. I think that's probably a given and I think we'd all expect that. So there you have it, my fellow agents. All the latest updates about The Division. Subscribe and stay tuned for more Tom Clancy The Division right here on Open World Games. And of course, all things Open World Games. And remember, the open beta is nearly upon us. It will begin for Xbox One users first on February 18th. For everyone else, you will gain access uh, on February 19th. That's going to be for the PS4, PC, and Xbox One, of course. And it will all come to a sad end on the 21st. Hopefully, we get that extension that we got last time with the closed beta. That sure 
would be nice. I hope Ubisoft does that again for us. But thank you guys so much for watching. Cannot wait to play with you all in Mid-Crisis New York City here very soon. Stay tuned for more live streams and extensive coverage of The Division. And remember, the game does release March 8th. Thanks guys for watching, and I will see you later and in the Dark Zone.